The Drop. Oh, Tom Hardy, you're quickly becoming my favorite actor. The Drop stars, of course, Tom Hardy, also Numi Rapace and James Gandolfini in, unfortunately, his last movie role. In New York, gangsters and other bad guys, they need a way to transfer their money from one guy to the next without the police finding out, so they take advantage of this thing called a drop bar. It's just a, like a neighborhood bar that hides money for the bad guys. Well, Tom Hardy is a bartender at this bar ran by James Gandolfini. It's a drop bar, and then uh, one day they get held up, and all that gangster money that they're supposed to be hiding is, uh, it's stolen. That's not good, no. Gangsters, they don't usually take kindly to their money being jacked, so uh, Tom Hardy and James Gandolfini better figure out where the money is, or... Uh, somebody's getting fucked up. It sucks that James Gandolfini died. He had so much talent, but at least he got to show it off one last time in the drop. His character had me constantly wondering, should I like him? Is he being a good guy? Is he just being a dick? Is he up to something? I don't know. There's just a lot of layers to this guy. Tom Hardy, though, this was his show. He played a very quiet, kind of soft-spoken guy, maybe even a little slow, but he had this anger that was just underneath the surface, and uh, it'd probably be pretty scary if he went off on somebody. It's insane the amount of range that Tom Hardy has as an actor. I just saw him in the movie Locke where he was this powerful construction foreman with like this Welsh accent. Um, the Dark Knight Rises, he was basically a terrorist with an old British woman's voice. Mr. Wayne. Uh, the movie Bronson, he was a crazy guy with his dick hanging out. Now there's this movie where Tom Hardy is uh, just a simpleton from the Bronx. So much range for an actor. He was electric in all of those movies, and especially in this one, uh, just in a different way. I gotta give props to Nimi Rapace. She did a very good job as the female lead in this movie. Uh, I guess really all the actors did a good job. The Drop is a tense and unpredictable movie. I had a hard time guessing where the story was going to take us, and I love that. It's also a great looking movie. The visuals have this kind of dirty quality to it while the colors still pop and uh, the cinematography was really well done too. I didn't care much for how long it takes to get this movie rolling, but once they get into the thick of things, there is a nice energy going on. The Drop is a good movie. It's a good start to the fall movie season. So in the end, I'm going to say that The Drop is 7 out of 10 asses. Thank you for watching Talking Out My Ass. My name is Jared Cook. Make sure you thumbs up this video, give it a like, and uh, down below, drop me a comment. Tell me what you thought of The Drop, if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, then just uh, tell me your favorite crime slash uh, gangster movie. Until next time, I will uh, talk to you later or something. <laughs>